Hi, my name is Gustav Loke, and I'm a business intelligence consultant at Drake Analytics. Here at Drake Analytics, we have developed a training material to introduce new users to ClickSense. We call this training material Business User Training. And in this video, I will give you the background to the tools and techniques that you will have to apply in order to successfully complete the training material. At this point, I would recommend that you navigate to Sheets in the right corner and then you click it and navigate to Demo Selections. When you have navigated to the Demo Selections sheet, you can follow my lead and do the same selections as I do. So I will start by choosing three countries. So we will go to the Country List box. We can choose a country by clicking it. So I will start with clicking on Austria, but I will also add Canada and then I will add Sweden. And I will confirm. You can either confirm by clicking the green button or anywhere on the white surface surrounding the list box, like so. Now see that the current selections is updated with the three countries that we just selected. Now if we want to change our selection, Maybe we want to remove Canada and Austria. We can do so by clicking the same way as when we selected them. And we will confirm. Now our only selections in the dimension country is Sweden. Now let's choose a city. I will choose Brecke. And I will confirm. Now the current selection is updated with the city Brecke. I will choose another city by using the magnifying glass and the search function. And I will start typing Stockholm and you will see that Stockholm turns up and I can click it and I can confirm. And we can now see that the city Stockholm was added to our selection. We can step back in selection history. At this point, by stepping back, we will remove Stockholm because that was the last selection that we did. If we step forward, Stockholm is once again included in the selection of cities. If I want to clear my selections, I can do so by clearing them one by one, or I can use the clear all command. At this point, I will use the clear all. If I want to answer the question, how many countries has at least one city, ending with the letter A? I will have to use a wildcard search, and I will do so by using the asterisk followed by A. Now we see that we will get a hit on all cities ending with the letter A. And I will choose them by clicking enter and I will confirm. But now the question was how many countries has at least one city? So now I want to know how many of the countries. So now we see that the white countries, they are the countries that has a city that ends with the letter A. So by marking them like this, we can see countries six. So the answer is six. If I want to turn the question around and instead answer the question, how many countries has absolutely no cities ending with the letter A, we can use the information about which countries that did have a city ending with the letter A. And we can use the select excluded. And then we select all countries that has no city ending with the letter A. So the answer to the second question is then 15. We can clear all selections. Located in the top left corner is the smart search function, which we can use by clicking it and search. Now I want to search for the country, Sweden. 
but also the city Stockholm. So add a space, start typing Stockholm. Here we get a dual hit of the country Sweden as well as the city Stockholm. So we'll choose this by clicking it. And we can see that we updated the current selections with the city Stockholm and the country Sweden. If I now want to lock the selection of country Sweden, I can do so by clicking it. Click the padlock. And now it is locked. If I now try to clear all selections, we'll see that the country Sweden will remain selected. If we unlock it, the same procedure as when we locked it, we'll click it, confirm, and again clear all selections. So when unlocked, we can once again clear it. If I want to search for a city, but I'm not entirely sure of the spelling, I can use a fuzzy search. which I do by adding the tilde before. And then I do my best in trying to spell, and I will try to search for the Swedish city Luleå. The first hit, as you can see, is the Swedish city Luleå, even though I obviously misspelled Luleå. And I can show it. So, even though I was unsure about the spelling, I was able to locate the correct city. And we can clear all selections. Now I want to make a selection in a dimension which is not in this sheet. In this sheet we have country and we have city. If we want to make a selection from a dimension other than these two, we can do so by moving to the selection tool in the top right corner and click it. Make sure that you have the show fields crossed here. And then we can search. And I want to search the contact name. And I'm going to select Al Bundy and confirm. Now we can move back to selections. Okay. Now we see that the contact name Al Bundy is selected. If we now want to answer the question of which country, which city Al Bundy is located in, we can see it's located in Anchorage, USA. So that is a way to make selections in dimensions which is not displayed in the sheet in a list box. If we, however, knew that we were looking for L Bundy contact name. We can clear all selections and we can use the smart search function again and we start start typing L Bundy. There we go. Contact name L Bundy. So the same result as in the selection tool but in this case we have to know that we are looking for L Bundy. If you now would like to join me in this sheet, navigate to the sheets and then click it and then navigate to demo tables and click it. Here we see two different kind of tables. To the left we see the sales table and to the right we see the sales pivot table. In the sales tables we can sort sales amount by clicking it. We can sort by either ascending or descending. And the same rules apply for all of the columns, really. We can sort on country or city or whatever you're liking. If you prefer that the sales amount appears next to the country, you can simply, dra simply drag and drop it. And we can do selections just like in the list box and we can search so we'll search for Sweden I will click it and confirm if I then would like to choose a city I can click it like this 
and confirm. And you can see that the selections now turns up in the current selection as well. Moving on to the pivot table. In the pivot table, we have three levels. We have country, we have city, and then category name. If we expand Austria by clicking, we see now we expand to the second level, which is city. If we then expand the third level, we get the category name. If we reorder the pivot table, we can place city after category name. We see that instead we get first country and then we get the category name and then we will get the city. So this really depends on what kind of question you want to answer. What kind of sales amount are you looking for? If we want a total sales for baby clothes, then it's probably a good idea to keep it like this. If you want the sales, like this, now you see baby clothes in the city class or or in the city Salzburg. We can also move the category name to expand it to columns. And then we can see men's clothing, Austria, total. We can expand it. And then we also get the men's clothing sales in the level of cities. To join me in this sheet, go to the sheets in the top right corner, click it, navigate to demo charts, and click it. In this sheet, we see three different types of charts. To the left, we see the pie chart, to the right, we see the bar chart, and in the bottom, we see the line chart which is a time series chart in this case. We can do selections in charts. In the bar chart, we can click the bars or we can drag and drop to include all the bars that we like to select. And we can confirm. Now we can see that the selections bar is updated with our current selection. We can do the same thing in the pie chart. We can click to select and confirm. In the time series chart, we can also do selections. If we want to select a certain period of time, we can choose the start of the interval, click, bold, drag to include all time values that you like to include in your selection and then confirm. Same rule applies to the y-axis where we can try to include all values of 10k or higher. We aim at the 10k, we click, hold and drag, up. Now we see that I was able to hit 9.3, so I will edit it to be a perfect 10k, like so, and confirm. We can delete this selection. Now, if we want to remember our selections, we can do so. By creating a bookmark, which we will do. I go to the bookmark section and click create new bookmark. And we can call this my first my first bookmark. Create. 
from this point we can clear all selections and then navigate back to bookmarks click the bookmark that we just created and we can see that we are now back to the state where we created the bookmark to navigate to this sheet go to the sheet selection and click that and then navigate to demo charts 2 and click that in this sheet we see three different types of visualizations we see the bar chart that i think that you recognize from the previous sheet we see the scatter plot to the right and also the map the bar chart is this time included with the drill down function which lets you select a certain country i will select germany and confirm that now the bar chart drills down to the second dimension which is city so now the bar chart will visualize all the cities within germany and we can drill out again by clicking the arrow in the scatter plot you can select values by clicking them you can zoom by using your scroll wheel when you hover another way of making selections in the scatter plot is by using the lasso function which you find here by clicking this you can draw a line around all the product names that you want to include within your selection and confirm and now we see i captured six out of 77 product names and the total sales for these six is about 262 okay we can clear this selection In the map you can also use the lasso function and you can use the zoom function one other type of selection in the map is by using the circle selection which you find here turn it on let's say that we are in the middle of sweden and we are prepared to travel about 1000 kilometers how many countries can we reach from this position and with being prepared of traveling about 1000 kilometers so let's try to click in the middle of sweden we increase the circle until we reach about 1000 kilometers and we confirm so we can see that we can reach 7 out of 21 countries if we are in the middle of Sweden and we are prepared to travel about 1000 kilometers so it's Germany, UK, Denmark, Sweden goes without saying, Finland, Poland and Norway let's say this is my travel plans for the summer of 2020 and I want to capture this to share with my traveling companions i can do so by clicking the camera take snapshot i'll make a notation to remember travel plans and i will save from this point we'll navigate to the storytelling mode by clicking here the first story you'll find here is the story included in the training material but we will make a completely new story here so let's click the create new story we can name it my first story and enter it by clicking it to reach the snapshot library i will navigate to the top right corner and press the snapshot library here are all the snapshots stored and they are ordered in the way they were created so the last snapshot added will be the last snapshot that we captured so we'll simply drag and drop this into our presentation 
we can resize this object but the ratio is locked until we unlock it like so now we can freely resize the object we'll have to edit the title because it's no longer relevant so i will press this pen edit and we can remove the title we do however want a title why i will click the a and i will choose a title drag and drop it like so and we will add travel plans like so let's assume my uh, traveling budget increased actually it doubled uh, we will have to redo the exercise so let's right click on the map go to source we'll clear the selections let's find sweden on the map we will choose the turn on circle selection in the middle of sweden and at this time 2000 kilometers since my traveling budget doubled good enough and confirm so now we see that we can reach 13 out of 21 countries so that is an improvement we will capture this take a snapshot and we will go back to storytelling mode right click on the map object and replace the snapshot we will replace it with the snapshot that we lost created and again we will remove the title so now we have updated the map to fit my new traveling budget stories is used to share insights in this case i want to share my travel plans can play the story in the top left corner and if we hover each country we see that there's still a connection to resource data which can be a good way to answer questions in the presentation again close the story and return to the sheet this concludes this video Good luck with your exercises and hope to see you again.